Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Teen Wolf episode number one of season six. This is the last season of the series. After this season right here, there is no more Teen Wolf. And I have loved this show since the first episode. And I'm hoping that this, ep that this season right here will end just as good or even better than how it started. Because if it ends bad, for me, it will hurt me to the core. And they won't be able to enjoy this show as much as you do because of, because of how bad it ended. But if it ends well, it will make everything complete for me. And I will enjoy that a whole, whole lot. So in this episode here, we have ourselves a new threat and they're called the Ghost Riders. Yeah, but before we even see the Ghost Riders, you can tell from the start that something bad is going to happen in this episode. You can feel it. The way how everything looks. Every time the wind blows a certain way. Every time you see a shadow. You feel something eerie coming. It's just freaking you out. You don't understand what's happening. But you know something's happening. And something's going to happen. And we ain't going to like it. We're not going to like it at all. Because. You, you should be starting off. Starting off kind of sweet. A little, a little funny. You have um, Liam and Hayden. They're on a date. Look like they're dating for a while. And well, Liam's car breaks down. Typical, typical, typical. And and they trying to they trying to find a spare, but they don't he don't have one. But then a car comes out of nowhere, which they think they think it's gonna help them. But the windows busted. Um, they're just cruising on by itself. They're like, what is going on? And they find some boy in the back named Alex. They trying to, and he he's freaking out saying, don't let him take me. Don't let him take me. He you know, just what is going on? And so they try to, so they take him to the police station to find out what's happening, and because because it sounds so weird, Scott and Styles gotta get involved because Scott and Styles have been trying to help out the police um beforehand, and they, they start they start to realize, well, I guess the police don't need us no more because well, there's no more supernatural threats, so the police can handle their own problems, and we just all we gotta do now is just go to school because this is our last year, and after this we're gonna graduate and move on to bigger and better things. Which is fantastic, which is good. But Styles, on the other hand, he's freaking out because he knows that if they move on, they will leave each other and the pack will die. The pack will die. Because as they go to college, they're going to meet new people. And as they meet new people, they're going to have different experiences. And they may not come back together ever again. Now, sometimes in life, you can have a high school friend and they can be a high school friend all your life. But other times you can have a high school friend and they're just a high school friend and that's it. After high school, you never see them ever again. Ever again. It's kind of messed up, but it is what it is. And and Styles is freaking out about that. He's trying to make sure everybody stays together. He's trying to make everybody stay strong as a pack and as a family. Because he, he, he has other person who's freaking out about this. You also have Liam, Hayton, Mason, and Corey. They're thinking, okay then, after Scott graduates, because he's our alpha, who's going to be the alpha? Who's going to take the place of Scott when he's gone? And you have Liam saying, um, I'll, I'll do it. I'll be the alpha. And everybody says, who is going to be filling the shoes of Scott? Who can do it? And Liam says, um, it's going to be me. I, I can be the alpha. I can be the alpha. And, it's, and even, even his girlfriend says, um, oh, I don't think so, baby. Maybe. How about we put a pen in that? Let you really think about what you're saying. Cause I don't think, I don't think you could be the alpha. I don't think so. Cause I never, I didn't think that, I didn't think that either. I, I just thought that I said I was just the alpha, and that's that, that's how it's going to be. But eventually, he has to leave. So who's going to be in charge? Who's, who's going to take his place while he's gone? Will it be Liam? Could he? Could he be the alpha? I don't know. Even I'm thinking about it. I don't think so. Ugh. Yeah. So, they got to figure out what happened to this boy, Alex, and what happened to his, his mother and his father. And that's when they find out about the Ghost Riders. And these Ghost Riders, like, they appear in front of people, and when they, and, and then they, and when, once you see them, they take you away. But not only do they take you away, they erase you from reality, from everywhere, from, from, the, from, the, from the internet. There's no trace of you anywhere on earth. You didn't exist. And then everybody forgets you even was there, which is messed up. And another person who gets taken in this episode here, this is a spoiler right here, just a little bit of a spoiler, is Styles. 
right off the gate, right off the bat, one of the main cast gets taken. And the way they the way they set it up, let us know he's going because they, they give you clues that he's going to get taken earlier on in the episode. But I just thought it was just um Scott just pro pro procrastinating because he didn't want to move forward with them graduating and spinning up the, the pack. But you find out it's actually connected to to the Ghost Riders. Oh my! It, it blew my mind because I did not I did not exactly see that coming. And but I like how they set it up and how they um, put it together. I thought it was very well done. So how's this episode going to? How is this going to go forward? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to move and move forward. How is it going to stop these Ghost Rider, this Ghost Rider threat? Beats me. I'm looking forward to that too. And I have some questions. It seems like every time in a new chapter, Scott moves up as a werewolf. When he first started off in the first season, he, wasn't quite, he, was, he didn't really embrace that much. He was kind of scared of it. He wanted to get rid of it. And then as, as time moved on, he started slowly but surely... He started to become the alpha. You start, you start, you started to see it little by little. He gained more confidence. He had more control over his powers. And when he became the the, the true alpha, you saw, you kind of saw it coming. Now, where he's gonna go from here? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be another level he's gonna cross o over into? I don't know. But if if it, if it does, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be kind of cool. And how would it affect the whole pack when Scott leaves? Who could take his place? Would somebody else have to come in? Will Liam have to step up? Beats me. And how could he do it? I don't know. Huh. A lot of questions. But I'm looking forward to how they're going to find out how they're going to answer it. This is a great episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. If you have, if you watched this episode right here, leave your comments down below. And let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't been watching Teen Wolf, I said check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will love it and have a lot of fun watching it too because I enjoy it. And, when I, I, and I like to share things I enjoy. And hopefully that you will enjoy it too. And if you have any thoughts or theories about where this show is going to go or who's going to happen to who or what or something like that, leave your comments down below. I'd like to hear them. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am. Boom. Uh, peace out. Uh, peoples.